Hello class, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to find the derivative of the function using the quotient rule. So when we say quotient rule, meaning meron tayong division sa ating given. So in our formula, meron tayong f of x over g of x. Then we are asked to find the derivative. So ang ating formula dyan is g of x times the first derivative of f of x minus f of x times the derivative of g of x all over g of x raised to 2. So, let us try example number 1. y is equal to 3x squared plus 5 all over 2x minus 3. So, ang unin yung gagawin dito is i-check nyo muna yung form ng ating given. So, as you can see, Meron tayo ditong f of x, then meron tayong division, then g of x. So meaning, yung form ng ating given follows the, the quotient rule. Okay? So, let f of x is equals to 3x squared plus 5. Then let g of x equals to... 2x minus 3. So, sa formula natin, parehas natin kailangan yung f prime of x at saka g prime of x. So, bago natin magamit yung formula, isolve muna natin yung derivative ni f of x at saka ni g of x. So, the derivative of f of x, so applying the power formula, so 2 times 3, we have 6, then x, then 2, yung exponent natin, 2 minus 1, we have 1, plus yung derivative ng ating constant, which is 0. Okay? So, 6x plus 0, our f prime of x is equals to 6x. Then, for g prime of x, we have 2x minus 3. So, derivative ni 2x, that is 2. Derivative of negative 3, that is 0. Okay? So, ang ating g prime of x is equals to 2. After natin makuha yan, we can now apply the, the quotient rule formula. Ito. Ang ating formula sa taas. So, ang ating y prime, or the derivative of our function, is equals to g of x times the derivative of f of x minus f of x times the derivative of g of x all over g of x then squared. Okay? So, pag in natin yan, we have y prime equals g of x which is 2x minus 3 times f prime of x which is 6x. Minus f of x, which is 3x squared plus 5, times g prime of x, which is 2. Okay? Then, all over g of x squared. So, ang ating g of x ay 2x minus 3, then squared. Okay? Then, after natin magawa yan, isisimplify natin yung ating numerator. So, y prime is equals to 6x times 2x. So, that is 12x squared. Then, 6x times negative 3. That is negative 18x. Next, 2 times 3x squared. That is 6x squared. Then, times yung negative sa, ta sa, sa may labas. That is negative 6x squared. Then, 2 times 5, that is positive 10, times yung negative sa may labas ng parenthesis, that is negative 10. Okay? Then, all over, 2x minus 3 squared. Yung denominator natin, guys, okay nang hindi yan i-expand. Okay? Then, kung gusto nyo naman siyang i-expand, yung square of binomial, pwede rin naman, no? But this time, leave na natin yung ganyan. Then, Combining like terms dun sa ating numerator, we have 12x squared minus 6x squared, that is 
6x squared, then minus 18x minus 10, all over 2x minus 3, then squared. So, kung mapansin nyo, yung ating numerator is, hindi natin siya, ka, hindi siya uh, mga factor. Or kung may ma-factor man kayo, to lang siguro yun. Then, wala namang mangyayari. Or wala namang makakancel dun sa ating denominator. So, this will be our final answer. Okay? So, next, let's have example number 2. Okay, so in our example number 2, meron tayo na namang f of x sa numerator, then meron tayong division, then g of x. So, ito ay pwede nating applyan ng quotient rule. Where f of x is equals to 4x squared minus 3x plus 5. Then, ang atin namang g of x is yung nasa denominator which is 2x minus 1. Then, getting the first derivative ng ating f of x, which is f prime of x, we have 2 times 4, that's 8x. Then, 2 minus 1, we have 1. Minus derivative ng 3x is 3. Then, derivative ng 5, since 5 is constant, so the derivative of 5 is 0. So, this will be our f prime of x. Okay? Next, g prime of x is equals to derivative of 2x, that is 2, then derivative ng negative 1, that is 0, since negative 1 is constant. Okay, then after natin makuha yung f prime of x and g prime of x, pwede na natin i-apply yung ating formula, yung ating quotient rule, g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over g of x squared. Okay? So, this time, magsasubstitute tayo. g of x, ang ating g of x ay 2x minus 1 times yung f prime of x which is 8x minus 3 minus f of x, so we have 4x squared minus 3x plus 5. Then, ang ating g prime of x is 2. Okay? All over g of x, which is 2x minus 1, then squared. Then, after natin magawa yan, kunin natin yung mga product sa ating numerator. So, y prime equals, so we have two binomials or the product of two binomials. So, we will use FOIL method. 2x times 8x, that is 16x squared. Then, 2x times negative 3, that is negative 6x. For the inner, negative 1 times 8x, we have negative 8x. And for the last term, negative 1 times negative 3, that is positive 3. Okay? Next is, dito naman, i-distribute lang natin yung monomial na 2 dun sa ating trinomial. So, 2 times 4x squared, that is 8x squared. Then, negative sa labas, so that is negative 8x squared. Then, 2 times negative 3x, that is negative 6x, times negative, we have positive 6x. Then, 2 times 5, positive 10, times yung negative sa may outside ng parentheses, we have negative 10, all over 2x minus 1 squared. After natin makuha yung product, Sa may numerator naman, magko-combine tayo ng like terms. Okay? So, combining like terms, we have 16 minus 16x squared minus 8x squared. That is 8x squared. Negative 6x minus 8x. That is negative 14x. Plus 6x, we have negative 8x. 
then 3 minus 10, that's negative 7, all over 2x minus 1 squared. So, since yung ating numerator is not a factorable, so this will be our final answer. Okay? Dito nagtatapos ang ating video. If you have any question or clarifications, pakisulat na lang sa ating comment section below. Thank you guys and bye!